you know, a lot of folks are what I call starstruck. You know, this to be starstruck. You know, once they meet like a celebrity or whatever, they just lose their mind. Some feign, some just behave silly, some, you know, all kind of, they just lost their, 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 their normal consciousness. Yes. And so, folks disqualify themselves the moment they meet a star. You know, they just disqualify. They just, they just have a meltdown. You know? That are, then have those of us who are media struck, anything the media say, we just melt. You know, it's a popular thing being done, you know, we just melt and just give it all up because it's on the media, it's on the main news. Another one I call terror struck. Anything that brings fear, we just bow. You know, ISIS, everybody gets scared. We don't preach as we should anymore, as I mentioned. And this thing is real. We're terror struck. Mm. Some are college struck. You know, they grow up in a, in a good home teaching them about right and wrong. But as they go to college, the professor say, you know, your gender is fluid. You know, you don't have to have anyone. You know, I learned it in college. Woo. You know? This thing is real I'm talking about now. College, so the moment I go to college, what I learn in college is, is what's it. Mm. Then I have what I call internet struck. Some folks are good, but they cannot rule their connection to the internet. Some good Christians are like that, some pastors are like that. If you tell them come off the internet for a week, they have a meltdown. You ever thought of that? You ever thought of that? Those of you who love the internet, and I'm on the internet too. Yeah, but I, I, I rule my time on it. I rule it. I love bananas. I love bananas. Don't give me none because I have it all the time. Yeah? But I stopped eating it for a whole year. My wife wondered what's wrong with me. She said, Daddy, why you won't eat the banana? It's right there on the table. Own ear. There, I love coffee. I don't drink it a long time ago. Long. Are you? Do not be struck. Whatever you love, you rule it. Yeah. So, you see the internet, you know, just do something. Some, some do it to the TV too and say, okay, you know, I'm, I'm going to forget it for a, a month and see if I can handle it. Come on, somebody. Amen. Don't disqualify yourself, then they have adventure struck. Some people are just drawn by adventure. You know, maybe if I try the homosexual way, I wonder how it feels. Uh, I've never taken marijuana. How are you telling me don't take it? Uh, nah, I gotta seek, taste it for myself first. Adventure struck. They, they, they move by what they never done. What's behind that door? You know, and there's, hmm. Mm. Adventure struck. And then you have what I call status struck. Status. The moment they are promoted or they are regarded or they are elevated. Who oh, they lost? They lost all their, their level headedness. Are you there? They lost all their consciousness you know, because now they, they are known. And then, you know, and then if you find you can't take correction because you, just, just like the bishop was preaching, you know, those who are talent struck, the moment they discover that they, are, they do well in something, they just lost their mind. They just lost. And as the man of God was preaching, I said, this is so amazing. It's so amazing. And these are the things that disqualify us. There's some even believers, you know, they grow up in an old church and then they get a chance to go to Bible college, you know. Like, you know, you grow up in church and you're, you're in Sunday school, but they get a chance to go to Bible college. What? You know, to go to Bible college, that's big, that's big. Come on. And, and you all should go there. But some folks, as they go to Bible college, 
They just throw away all they learn. Say, I'm in Bible college now. So they become college struck. You know they? And they become doctrinal cowards. Cowards and weaklings. They, 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 the things they learn. You know, while they're growing up in Sunday school, Sunday school is safer than Bible college. My God, why, why did I take why did I take this microphone? Why did I come on somebody? And don't, don't miss me because I've, I've been to Bible college. You follow me? And I learn a lot. You follow me? But they don't cross the doctrinal line. <laughs> so some folks, they're college struck and they, they are professor struck. My professor said this. You know, my lecturer, you look how some kids are teacher struck. You know, the teacher said there, there, there's no gender. <laughs> and they come home. You know, trying to pick at you. Come on, come on. Yes. And so, so within the church, you have those who are doctrinal, doctrinal cowards. They let go that which they learn, the realities of what they learn, because they now begin to learn theology. <laughs> then you have in the world now, what is where, what's the one now? Then you have in the world now, you have what I call conscience cowards. The moment they become struck, they lose their conscience. It just happened in Ireland a while ago. Ireland have only a small percentage of homosexuals. Very small. I forget what's the percentage. Maybe 10% are homosexuals. And the other 90 are not homosexuals. And yet still, those who are not homosexuals voted for homosexuality to be, to be allowed. As they voted for homosexual marriage with a a, a landslide vote. Mm. They are conscience cowards. And some are terror struck by the homosexual movement. Are you with me, somebody? Someone said, don't disqualify yourself. Come on, come on. I know I say a lot right here, but we will break it down sometime in the future. But you gotta get this in the don't be struck by nothing. Don't be struck. Get yourself together. Keep yourself conscious. No matter what happened, no matter what new, no matter what big thing, keep yourself. If you don't know, if you don't, if you can't deal with it, just stay as you are. You get a new book, you're not so sure, don't open it. Amen. Come on, just, just stay as you are. If you don't want to, you know, you're not too sure, see, just stay as you are. You're pretty good so far. 